based in Korea, but if you didn't know this, I'm American. And I'm not just American, I'm from Ohio. And if you don't know Ohio, well, that makes sense. We're pretty much a farm state. A couple cities, mostly farms. My mom's a farmer. It's, it's just what we do. So that's why the next company that we're going to check out is interesting to me, as we're going to go into farm tech and find out a little bit about uh, what they have over here at AIM B. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. This is AIM B Lab, right? AIM B Lab. Nice, nice to meet you. My name is Zane. Zane. My name is Alex. Yeah, great to meet you. So like I said, I'm a farmer by heart. Do you, do you know where Ohio is? Uh, I know it's somewhere in America. It's somewhere where the farms are. That's yeah. what most Koreans know it as. Sure. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's nice. But you got farm tech here, and that's why I'm excited to learn a little bit about it. What is AIMB Lab? So AIMB Lab, we provide a comprehensive livestock feed management data platform. So that basically, says everything. Okay. That, that's, oh, wait. I'm the farmer. I know what that meant. Explain it simply to the non-farmers out there. So because there's uh, a lack of data implementation, mostly in the livestock industry and the agriculture industry, what we do is starting from data measuring and yeah. monitoring all the way to logistics deliveries and data solutions, we, uh, we provide these uh, data solutions to both livestock farmers and feed companies. Okay, let's take a look at that solution. Let's take a look at the app itself. So we got some samples here of what it looks like, right? So what information do you have on the app? So basically, this is our uh, measuring device. It's, this it's is a, a sensor over here? Yeah, this is a sensor. It's a 10-minute self-installable, very easy uh, sensor. Once installed, it collects all different kinds of feed data inside a silo. So we have information about the temperature, humidity, humidity is it closed, open, quantity, contamination? consumption oh. rates, uh, and so on and so forth. But we also provide alarms if there are anything going wrong or if they're very low on sure. feed. So it's for real-time monitoring for both farmers and companies. Okay, so over here then it collects the information, sure. uh, puts it in a chart form, and you've got the app form. This, this is, is the, also... This is the web and ERP web for mostly farmers and large uh, companies. So what happens is for feed companies, they uh, keep track of all their client farms. So they can see all their client farms in, in just one screen. All right, so over here we're looking at uh, all the different farms or areas that you sure. can have it right here. So back here, so this is IoT tech, obviously, it right? Yeah, it is. Uh, so it measure, what do we have back here? This is your. So this is basically our IoT device that measures um, all the feed data inside a silo. And, and this is, as I've mentioned, a 10-minute self, self-installable device, which is easy for all the farmers. It's a very, very low price mm -hmm. compared to many other uh, uh, products in the market, right. which is the key factor. And we are the biggest feed uh, data collecting company in South Korea. So what we do is we have around 400,000 cases of feed data already collected. And with this data being collected, we link it with our livestock data to enhance the productivity, the quality of all different kinds of livestock, dairy products, and so on and so forth. So this can be implemented in all kinds of different livestock, like um, cattle, pig, aquaculture, poultry. So it's very easy to use for both farmers and feed companies. All right, let's talk about America. Let's talk about sure. you're at CES. Right. Are you in foreign markets now? Are you trying to get into foreign markets? What's your status? So America is one of our biggest target markets. We have already been accelerated by American accelerators such as Techstars. So there's we have, a, we have a ton of farms here. Right. I mean, their their stance was, why why don't you start in America? Why are you <laughs> why are you in Korea? So I said, oh come on. I mean, like we we'd love to. So that's why we're here. We're trying to see uh, the ways we can partner up with companies. Where the way we can you know provide our products to farmers and feed companies possibly get you know extra funding if you can so definitely America is our primary big target I mean you should really visit Ohio I mean not <laughs> right. for the fun but for sure. the work I mean yeah there's yeah. a lot of farms for research out there. and market, for research, market research and we'll right? hang out I'll, I'll take you to my parents oh, house we'll have that, some real American food that sounds great <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, so what's uh, you've told me what's next uh, is there anything else we missed uh, is there anything else that you want to say before we wrap things up here Sure, uh, we are open to any kind of collaborations uh, in terms of you know, data provision or even you know, implementing the solution. Or if you want to retail our solutions, we're open to anything. So um, uh, if there's anyone interested in our product, please let me know, contact me. Um, and uh, we're also looking for a pre-A uh, funding in investments. So any investors who are uh, interested in this area, please let us know. 
There you go. K Tech, Farm Tech, that's all you got to know right now. Anything that has to do with the feed industry, if you got something and you, you want to know about, go ahead and check them out. Check out AIM B Lab, and they'll give you the information. Thank you so much for Thank working with so us. Thank you so much. And that's it. Farm Tech, K Tech, it's all right here. AIM B Lab, we'll see you around. Bye, everyone.